<laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. So much to see here. Where do I even start? This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco friendly roofing materials. So cool. May would have loved this place. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. Right, I'll see you in a sec. Um, he just wanted to know our specifications before moving forward. There's so much to explore. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting.
imagine coming to work here every day? It's almost too good to be true. Could start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? <sighs> Gotta think this through before signing on. gave you okay to do another compartment in the uh, in the space lab. Really? Yes, yes. Oh, well, that is wonderful news. Do you know who's going to be heading that? Uh, I think it's uh, Pronsky. He's going to be... Welcome to Entomology. Beehives show complex group decision-making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back even before high school to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey. When you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. And you see, if you let B be the base of the member system and end the degree of the quantity extraction... I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm-hmm. This way, dude. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting.
Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Let's see. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-offy. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. OK. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I? Put it. Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. I really think we need more security. How many Go ahead. Really? Swipe. Save the world non <laughs> wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
one quick thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. I forgot to tell you, some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took me in Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't sorry. I'm gonna have to call you back. Shouldn't you guys be in an hourglass or something? Gotta get that sand crystal! Be all clear now. They're circling me, Miha. Oh, wishing I'd just stayed home with you. Helped you with your homework. Made you the one meal that I know how to cook. But it's too late now. Kimia is Marco's daughter. How did I not know he was a dad? Just check back in on Marco. He's steadily improving. Making more and more sense. He's even eating again. Doctors are hopeful. Good work. Hey, sorry about that. And sorry for how incommunicado I've been. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right, good luck out there. Those burglars are almost inside. Gotta stop them.
Spider-Man is stopping your guy's master plan! Help! Don't let this color your view of New York. It's a great city when you don't see it. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. What's up? Just wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... Uh, everything. I'll call him right now. But don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Spider-Man, hey, over here. you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. <sighs> Especially that. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. <laughs> Spider-Bot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. All right. I find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, it's Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. Gonna be okay. Spider-Man, thank you. Hey Clark, did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now, thanks. Spider-Man's here, it's gonna be okay. Anyone? I can't move! Help! 
Hang on. I'll get you out of there. Oh, thank you. Help's coming. Fire and Rescue knows where you are, and they'll be here soon. You're going to be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Clark, you should be getting a new location any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. What are those breathing exercises again? Spider-Man. Looks like I need to go up. So it's field testing time for my latest upgrade. My insurance better cover this, or I swear. Hey, Clark. Did you get the last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. have enough traction to pull him out. Oh, stuck. Get me out of here. <laughs> Fire and rescue's on its way. Are you okay? No, I'm good. But I saw somebody up ahead a few minutes ago. Purple jacket. Make sure you help them. Hey, Clark. I just sent a new location your way. But this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? We're not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on it. Get a gas mask on. Take some maneuvering. Fanatical. Yeah, I'm getting big cult vibes. What about 
the intruder that's been skulking around. They can't stop all of us. Now keep looking for supplies. We'll need them in the days ahead. Ah. Never, never even mentioned the flame. I just, I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. What's your deal? There you are. Hey! You never did like my smoking. Yuri? Little life's call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried... Where have you been? What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Looks like Yuri took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her.
and the other on these cultists. I need more eyes. about that new Emily May Foundation. Who are they? What do they do? Well, big picture, it's an Oscorp spinoff, which we don't love, I know, but the man in charge, Harry Osborne, has got a decent rep. At the very least, he hired my favorite bee scientist, AKA apiologist, Dr. M. Young. They're the foremost expert on colony collapse disorder and a pretty sick ukulele player. Got a good photo, Spider-Man? They sent it to the student newspaper! <laughs> the Spider-Man aren't the only superheroes in the world. Getting students to class on time? One of the greatest powers I've ever seen. Reckless driving, not great. Hey guys, can you drop yourselves off at the nearest jail? Any idea how much property damage you just caused? See what Dr. Young is up to out here. Peter, thank you so much for helping us out with our machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation, we're now teaching our drones what to do in the wild. Once you get yourself set up, this recording will continue. Okay, let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. Great. Let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. Got it. Let's go. No thanks, bee-eating wasps. Nice. You've 
completed the data set. Now, in the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. Be real estate, here we go. Look for the flags. These are ideal relocation spots. Here we go. State agent. Bingo. Whee! You've completed the set. The drone will self pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter. That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful. suffering through a litany of problems right now. Inflation through the roof, feckless government officials, and a country on the brink of a collapse not seen since the fall of the Roman Empire. Yet the worst, most insidious dilemma we face is that of the faceless. It seems another masked vigilante is bringing their illegitimate justice to the streets. All reports indicate an individual disguised in purple and sporting a take-no-prisoners approach to the illegal activities they perpetrate. Some of you have criticized the Spider-Man for not going far enough. But I can't believe what I'm saying. That's not in their jurisdiction. While they shouldn't be out there in the first place, at least they haven't sworn themselves as judge, jury, and executioner. We have systems in place for this people. If this new hero really wanted to enforce order to the fullest extent of the law, they'd join the police department. Why is it so hard for some people to follow the rules? This is the chaos the Spider-Men inspire. And why must I be the sentinel of statutes? Now, how about that? Hope I'm not intruding! Never! Let's do this! What's the matter? Two Spider-Men, two tough? Man, I thought I was gonna get that last hit in. 
Ah, hubris. It beats us all. Not bad. Say what you will about social media, and I can say a lot. It's helped so many businesses stay afloat here when they would have gone under a long time ago. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Ah, oh, man. We were sure it was there. <sighs> Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Uh, glittering? Come on, man. their freedom that's not ominous at all Look around. <laughs> what do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, 
Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. Gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though. For actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Is that a real gun? That actually works? Up, up, and you won't get away! Nice cloaking tech. Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. That's too close now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention! But Scorpion is? Okay! Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see... Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh, is that your home? Come on, Bertie, let go! Come on! Stop buy a ticket for this ride! Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait. This buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city. Like, whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just... vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? <laughs> I want to find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta draw one of them away. something two things this armed group calls themselves hunters and they've got a lot of accents hmm. international mercenaries that's what I'm thinking 
Give me front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, Connections good. I accepted the Harry's offer. Green. That's fantastic. We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. Stay down. Please. That's a lot of gear. It's like they're prepping for war. poachers for the parks, but when I'd find them, I was harsher than my bosses would have preferred. Idiots. After the sixth incident, I got put on, what do they call it, a leave of absence, so I torched their building. Nice. Hold up in my room, it's <laughs> after going to come for me. But if... Spider-Man is here! Drop him! Spider-Man! There! Don't get out of this! That's everyone. Now, what were they up to? Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others. All around the city. I'll send this to Genki. But he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yes, it's loaded. We'll join you soon. Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. I want some honey. You hungry too? <coughs> Nighty night. For me? You shouldn't have. Oh. oh, sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. 